Let's talk about the diesel water pump here and the aluminum water pump housing and some of the problems associated with this unit right here. Now, changing the water pump on these old diesels is not difficult. You have one, two, three, four, five bolts that hold this water pump to the housing. Now, if you look down here, you can see where it's located. You have to pull off this large belt pulley in the front. This is where the fan clutch assembly bolts on. And here you can see the water pump. A lot of times you can check it. If it spins freely, it means it's wearing out. You know, if there's some resistance, you know the seals are still good. And of course, you want to check for lateral play. If you have moisture, coolant dripping on the ground, shove a rag or a paper towel underneath here because there's a drain hole right here. See, that's on the bottom of the pump. There's a drain hole that uh, coolant will leak out of if your seals have gone bad. So that's, that's kind of a clue as to whether or not you should replace the, the water pump. It usually shows up as a first sign of coolant dripping out right out of that hole. And the easiest way, once again, shove some paper towel in there, leave it for a while, and see if it gets wet. That means you need to replace this pump. And you would think, oh, hey, changing the pump isn't difficult. We have a kit on my website. We have a special tool that helps you get these difficult to remove bolts out of the fan clutch. You get on here and you start removing these bolts. This is where you have to be very careful. These bolts right here are known to break off because you have a steel bolt going into an aluminum housing. You have an issue with dissimilar metal corrosion. And if you try to spin these out without some care, you can break them off. And trying to tap and drill into that aluminum is near impossible. So if these bolts aren't coming easy, work them out a little bit. Squirt some penetrant in there like Rust Buster or any other lubricant that will really soak in and then work the bolt back and forth, back and forth. You've seen my other videos of how to do this to work these bolts out of that aluminum. And then anytime you're installing new bolt, uh, new water pump with the old used bolts, use anti-seize compound on the threads. I'm going to repeat, always use anti-seize when putting steel bolts into aluminum housing. So if you break this off, I would recommend that you just replace the housing. And we do have good used water pump housings on our website. The other problem you run into is badly corroded nipples here where the hoses uh, you know, clamp down. I have a video, I'll put a link in the show more below. I have a video on how to repair this if you should have very bad pitting in this area. This is real common. So between a broken bolt and some corrosion here, you might just want to replace the housing, okay? And I'm going to have to admit right up front that replacing these housings is not always easy. Some engines, you have to pull off these pulleys off the front of the engine. So just be aware that replacing the housing is not always an easy job. And then the other thing I want to warn you about is this balance tube. This is a coolant balance tube between the water pump housing and the cylinder head. This is a banjo bolt, and these tend to get seized. And when you start to loosen up these bolts, do not let this balance tube move. If you have to you know, clamp it down or, or put something in there to keep it from moving, but what happens is if you just sit here and reef on this, and you let this move, here's what happens. See that? It breaks off the nipple on the balance tube. So you really have to be careful when removing these from the older diesel engines. Now let's move over to the other engine and I'll just show you what it looks like with the pulley assemblies off and the water pump and water pump housing already removed. So here's the area where the water pump housing bolts to the block. You have uh, this is the, the water inlet to the block. You can see there's two bolts here and there's a gasket here. You're going to need to get a gasket if you're going to replace this water pump housing. There's just one gasket there. You have one, two, three, four, five bolts that hold this up to the block and there you have it. Okay, so it's usually this bottom bolt here that's hard to get to and will require removing uh, the front pulleys. Now, notice there's a couple other things you want to be concerned about when you're replacing the water pump housing, you, you, you want to replace this short hose right here. We call it the short hose. We have a kit with clamps 
And this is something that you should replace. It, it doesn't get replaced a lot dur you know, during normal maintenance. So keep an eye on this hose. This can be a problem if it's been neglected. Of course, thermostat, you know, if the thermostat hasn't been replaced in a long time, you don't know the history of it, you probably want to go ahead and replace the thermostat too as you have all this uh, apart. So if you're doing a water pump and you're running into problems with the, with the housing, we have good housings available on my website. We have new water pumps with kits and instructions. We have new short hoses with clamps and instructions and new thermostats also with instructions. So a lot of these things you can do yourself. If you have the tools and the instructions and know-how, this is something you do not need to send out to a shop to get done. So hopefully we can help you solve any water pump or water pump housing problems you're having on your old diesel.